friends welcome back to my channel i have for you today some mcgee and co dupes on a budget very simple very inexpensive and i hope you like them let's go ahead and get started diy number one i'm uh, i saw this beautiful um, decorative uh, ball uh, and it was 50 dollars and there's no way i would pay that much because i knew i could recreate for way less so um I got this paper mache ball from a Hobby Lobby a long time ago for 24 cents uh, on a clearance, but usually it's 99 cents. Then I got the black acrylic paint with the antique wax and baby wipe and I um, stained this uh, ball. After everything was stained and dried, I took a smaller drill first to drill two holes and after that I um, used the larger one to create a larger holes. After that was done, this is what I was left with. And then I'm going to be uh, using this uh, handle from one of the bags that I uh, thrifted and I used in one of my uh, old projects. I'm going to cut out a little piece out of it and then I will tightly push into the holes. Uh, if you're creating this, uh, you can add a little bit of glue, but mine was really, really tight. There was absolutely no need for that. It is not going to come off. And that's it for this project. Wasn't this super simple, but look how gorgeous it looks. I'm in love with this one and it will definitely stay um, as my decor for a long, long time. What do you guys think about this one? Now let's see, mine was $1.50 and there was $50. Great saving, isn't it? I got this four uh, tray for tier rolling card uh, from life with and as a crafter you guys know that this is a must have but not only as a crafter it's something that everybody can use in their house so uh, as i said this is a four tiered uh, four tray rolling card it was super easy to put together uh, look you can see over here steps uh, it took me five minutes to put it together the best part of this one is that you can decide do you want to leave it as two uh, tiered three tiered or four tiered it has wheels which means it's super easy to move around it also has this cute um, hooks that are so so convenient so whether you use it for your crafting supplies like i do it over here this is something that really really helps me to keep my things that i need for a certain video uh, right next to me and i don't have to go back and forth to um, the my closet crafting closet everything fits uh, perfectly or you can use it as i'm showing over here for your cricut supplies what I like about this one is that it's very, very narrow. It can fit in smaller spaces. And sometimes we have just those little small spaces between the you know, cabinet and the wall. And this fits perfectly. Also, you can see over here, you can use it for your hair supplies. And it's tall enough that it can really fit tall hairsprays and um, tall bottles if you have. Perfect. Also, you can use it uh, in your bathroom uh, or laundry room. I'm going to show you over here in the bathroom next to the toilet to keep the supplies needed. Either way, um, whatever way you use it, it's definitely something I think every household needs to have. Uh, but like I said, especially crafter because we use a lot of supplies and they need to be close to us and on hand. Um, on their website, you can see a lot of other things for house, for organization uh, and storing things, which I absolutely love. And uh, um, also they have their store on Amazon and I'm going to link all that in the description box so you can go ahead and check it out um, as well as this particular product. So you can directly uh, go to that page and you don't have to look around. I definitely recommend this. Go ahead and check it out. And the prices are very, very affordable. For DIY number two, I saw this another wood ball object that was originally $58, but on sale $42.99. And again, I knew I could recreate it for way, way less. I got another one of these uh, paper mache balls, but you can really use any ball that you have in your house. And um, after I took the stickers off, I am going to paint it with this black acrylic paint. Just one good coat. After everything was painted and dried, 
this is how it looks like nice and matte that's what i decided to go with and then i'm going to be using this uh, faux leather uh, ribbon from the dollar tree and i'm going to cut out three strips that are um, just enough to cover the diameter of the or actually perimeter of the this ball after that i'm starting with a little dab of hot glue on one spot in the middle and i'm going to wrap one first ribbon around and then i will add a hot glue overlapping just a little bit and i'm going to cut off the excess when that was done i'm taking the second one and i will do the similar thing except i will um, just position it it i will not um, hot glue it just yet you can do this you can certainly do this first second and third one but uh, on a website I, I saw that the second one uh, overlapped the third one so that's what i decided uh, to do so i just use this push pins to hold it in place and then um, i'm going to leave it just as it is like this and then i'm going to add the third one that I will hot glue underneath the second one as you can see over here that's how it was in a, on a website and I decided to do the same but like I said it's not necessary you can certainly just wrap first second and third one and it will probably look exactly the same so after um, that like I said I'm then attaching the second one covering up the third one using a hot glue and cutting off the excess ribbon after that I am adding all those push pins to the places where two ribbons meet and that's going to be it for this project it couldn't be simple to make but it really looks high-end and so gorgeous i think i'm gonna make another one because on the website there is a smaller and larger one i think they will look so beautiful in my bowl and i'll show you in just a second how both of these look in bowl on my coffee table look at them so gorgeous so my was dollar fifty and theirs was forty two dollars. I think that was a huge savings. What do you guys think? If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. I'm so happy you are here. On my channel, you can find a lot of budget friendly DIYs, decor ideas, thrift lifts, and there will be some home improvement DIYs that I'm going to share with you guys some of them will be just me some of them uh, my husband and i and i'm so excited to share them with you if you like that uh, please stick around give this video and other videos a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel with the notification bell on so you don't miss any of my future videos i'm on instagram pinterest and facebook come and say hi i would love to get to know you and now let's start with diy number three for this project, um, I saw this beautiful iron cubed object that was $48, but I decided to recreate that for, of course, way less. I got these uh, wood doubles, smaller ones from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to take first four of them and then I will attach two in L shape or actually create a corner out of them. And then I want to create another corner and I will put those two corners together to create a square i'm just using a hot glue over here but if you recreate this you can certainly use something else like wood glue or any other glue so after i put um, this square together this is how it looks like nice and sturdy and then i will create two of those here they are and then i want to take four more dowels and i will attach them to the first square um, standing up so I'm going to put dowel in each corner standing up like I'm showing over here now the good thing about hot glue is that it doesn't necessarily immediately become a very stiff so you can work around with this if you're working a little bit faster so now I'm putting another square on top and like I said it's a little flexible so I can still work with it to move it around if I didn't really position it properly so after this cube was done this is how it looks like and then i'm going to take four more dowels and i will cut out um, three quarters of each and then i will put uh, hot glue two on the bottom opposite corner and i will have the meat in the middle like i'm showing over here and after that's dry i am 
taking two more and then they are going from the top towards the middle point from two opposite corners and hopefully I explained well but you can see what I'm doing over here after that I'm sorry you cannot see what I'm doing over here but I'm just adding a hot glue right in the middle but where all, all four meets meet and then after that here it is that's the structure and now I'm going to be using the same apple barrel um, black acrylic paint to paint this if you have a spray paint you can certainly do this it is definitely faster I did not have any black spray paint so I decided to go with this route so after it was all painted and dried this is how it looks like nice and then now I'm going to be using acrylic paint in a color copper and the same brush to just dab it pretty much dry brush it let's say uh, on it to create that iron effect and that's going to be it for this project again another super simple project very beautiful and very high end for the fraction of the price tell me what you think about this one cost for mine was only a dollar and for there was a 48 dollars huge saving isn't it i really hope you enjoy uh, watching uh, these type of videos tell me in the comments which one was your favorite and would you recreate any of these uh, give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you're new and i hope you have a wonderful rest of the day i will see you guys in my next video bye